Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. My name is Liz and this is part two of my Hobby Lobby haul. These are the DIYs that I'm going to do with the items that I picked up from Hobby Lobby in my last video. If you haven't seen it and you wanna see it, I will leave it in the cards above. I'm gonna do a mix of some Easter and some farmhouse type DIYs. So a little bit of everything in today's video. I'm also gonna be using a mix of other items from Walmart and Dollar Tree to go along with the items from Hobby Lobby. So just keep that in mind. Those are going to be thrown in there as well. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into our first DIY. For this DIY, I'm going to grab that bunny ear pick that was super cute and these wood pie six and a half inch circles, obviously purchased from Hobby Lobby. So to attach these things together, I'm gonna take a pair of pliers and I'm gonna start rolling that pick in. It is a very thick metal and so I, I didn't have anything to cut it. If you have something to cut it down, by all means cut it, but this is what worked for me. I just rolled it up and then put it flat up against the wood round and then I'm gonna take a bunch of hot glue and then I'm also gonna take some burlap ribbon, just kinda act as an extra support piece and glue that down on top of the metal pick piece. Next, I'm going to take three bunches of white roses. I actually found these at Walmart and I'm going to pull them off their stems and then I'm going to cut the bottom portion of the stems off because I wanted these to be able to lay as flat as possible on my wood round. So I just go through, cut those off, and then I'm going to take some hot glue and I'm just going to start hot gluing my roses all over my wood round all the way around the outside and in the middle. The whole thing will be covered in roses. And I, like I said, I used three bunches. I maybe had one or two roses left over. And that's all you're gonna do for this DIY. So, so simple, so easy. I thought about adding maybe a little cotton tail to the back of it. I couldn't find anything in my stash that was, it was either too big or too small. So you could definitely add more details to this if you wanted to, but I just thought this was very cute as it was. This DIY, I'm gonna grab one of these wall hanging pieces, wall shelf from the Dollar Tree. I'm gonna take some wood filler and I'm gonna go ahead and fill in all four of those holes on this shelf. I'm gonna use this as a sign and I'm going to take my Waverly chalk paint in white and I'm gonna give this one good coat of chalk paint. Once that's dry, I'm going to take a big ruler that you can get from the Dollar Tree, a ruler and leveler, and I'm going to use this to space out some lines on my sign. I'm going to do kind of a faux shiplap type look to this rustic farmhouse <laughs> sign. And then I'm going to take some Waverly chalk paint and mineral on a chip brush. And I'm just going to dry brush all over the entire sign. And then the last thing that I like to do when I'm doing kind of these rustic type signs, I'll take a piece of sandpaper after everything's dry and I'll just go over the entire thing, rough it up a little bit more and then wipe it down so it's all nice and clean and the dust is off of it. And then I'm going to use this Chocotour transfer that has all these really fun, cute sayings on them. I'm going to use the farmhouse-ish part that says a rustic dwelling minus the actual farm because isn't that very true? <laughs> I'm going to use that and I am going to put it onto my sign and I'm going to use my chalk paste in eucalyptus. I love this one. Really, really pretty. And I'm just going to put some of that on a squeegee squeegee it onto my transfer and then peel it up and you have this really cute farmhouse saying on your sign 
Make sure you wash your transfer so you can use it again if you're ever interested in Chalk Couture. It is linked in my description box. And then I just added some twine to the bottom portion of my sign, tied it in a knot in the back, and then I'm going to take the Hobby Lobby 99 cent windmill. I'm going to leave it just like this. I'm not going to do anything to it. I liked the natural wood portion of it and I'm going to hot glue that to the side of my sign and that's it for this DIY. I love the farmhouse look to it and I just think this turned out really cute. This DIY, I'm going to take this pack of egg filler, it was $5.99 and then it was also on sale. And then I'm going to use this for a garland. So what I'm going to do is take two sizes of beads. I believe one is sized 16mm and then the other one probably 25mm I want to say. And I'm going to do a pattern of a small bead and then a big bead and a small bead and then an egg. And then I'll just repeat that pattern until I have my garland as long as I want it. Now I wanted to add some ribbon in here and I loved the frayed ribbon that I found at Hobby Lobby. So I took the green color and the cream color and I'm going to do another pattern of green, cream, green, cream just over and over and I'll tie those on either side of each egg. And then when that is finished, I'm going to make myself a tassel for each end. And to do that, I just take some twine, wrap it around my hand, probably a good 20 times, and then I'll cut off the excess twine. I'll take the excess twine that is on each of the ends of the garland, and I'll wrap that around the top, tie a double knot, and then after that's done, you're going to take another piece of twine, and you're going to wrap it around the top portion of that loop that you have going on tie it in a knot and then loop it around over and over and over depending on how thick you want that middle portion to be tie another double knot and then cut the loops at the end give it a haircut make sure it's all nice and even at the bottom so all you got to do to make tassels i'm going to make two of these so i'm going to follow these exact same steps for the other side of the garland and that's all you got to do for this one i love how cute this is very neutral and farmhouse especially if you're decorating for easter and you don't want to do too bright pastel colors i think this one is really fun This DIY, seriously super easy, maybe three minutes to make. You're gonna take one of these tobacco baskets from Hobby Lobby, and then also one of these lamb's ear napkin rings from Hobby Lobby. I'm gonna take some Dollar Tree ribbon. I'm going to loop that ribbon through the napkin ring over the top of the tobacco basket, hot glue it in the back. It's all you gotta do. A really cute, really fun farmhouse piece that you could put on a shelf. You could even put this on a tear tray, something just to give it a nice little accent. Again, super fast, and I thought it turned out adorable.
For this DIY, I'm going to take one of these flower decor wooden pieces from Hobby Lobby, also two of the shiplap pieces from the Dollar Tree. I'm just going to hot glue those together, and then for that flower, I'm going to take a mixture of some water and some white acrylic paint. I just wanted this to be almost like a stain or a whitewash, nothing too crazy, but I'm just going to go through and paint the mason jar portion with this little paint and water concoction. I didn't go into the stems and the leaves. I just painted over the mason jar portion of it, if that makes sense. I decided to use some of my markers from Arteza and I just chose three different colors and I only colored in the actual engraved portions for the petals and I left everything else in that natural wood color. Now I kept contemplating if I wanted to do anything different with this. You could definitely leave it as is, just hot glue this to the back of those palettes, but I kind of felt like it was a little bit too plain. So what I decided to do was take one of these rub on transfer sheets from the Dollar Tree and I just took that entire thing and stuck it straight down onto my two palettes. Now the easier way that I found to do this was to take an X-Acto knife and cut in between each of the slots in those palettes so that you're not trying to rub on and remove the entire sheet all at once. I did it kind of, you know, piece by piece and I just rubbed it on with my finger and then I also used a popsicle stick and I just went row by row until I got the entire thing rubbed on there. Anything that was hanging off the sides, I just scraped off using my X-Acto knife and cleaned it up that way. And that's all you got to do for this one. Just rub the entire thing on your palettes and then hot glue your flower piece to the middle of that. And that's all you got to do. I thought that the background turned out really, really cute. And I thought this piece was just something different that I hadn't seen before. And it turned out adorable. So let me know what you think about it in the comments. For this DIY, I'm going to grab one of these mini Happy Easter wooden pieces that you can get from Hobby Lobby. I'm going to use some white chalk paint from Waverly to paint this. A marker probably would have been a lot easier and a lot faster. I don't know why I do these things to myself sometimes, but if you have a white marker, just use that. It'll be much easier. And then I'm going to grab some of these carrot stickers also from Hobby Lobby. I took three of them. And then this little stand piece is also from the Dollar Tree. I just took off the little clip that was at the top. And I'm going to hot glue three carrots down at the bottom, two on the sides, one in the middle, and then I'm going to take some of my Gorilla Gel Super Glue and I'm going to use that to glue down my Happy Easter word right above there. And then I've also found some of this white and yellow Baker's Twine at the Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to wrap that around two of my fingers several times. I'm just going to make a simple bow with this. So I just wrap it and wrap it and wrap it until I get it as big as I want it. And then I'm going to take an excess piece of that Baker's Twine wrap it around the middle, tie a double knot, and then I'm just gonna glue that to the top of my piece. Really, really easy. This also was a project that took maybe, I mean, it was less than 10 minutes to do. It was super quick, super fast. So, and it turned out really cute for a tear tray for Easter. And that's it for today's video. Let me know what your favorite project was in the comments down below. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. And if you like the kind of dual videos going together, a shopping and then a DIY with those products that I buy, let me know in the comments below if that's something that you guys like and I can do it with other stores as well. Don't forget to subscribe before you guys leave. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see you in my next one. Bye.